Hey guys, have you ever thought about building hydroponic system? I'll show you mine in a second. Welcome back guys. So this is the system we're going to build today. This is a system I've been running for probably the last three years, I believe. This is a ebb and flow system and the uh, principle behind it is simply that water fills in the growing buckets, which are the one with those, uh, those pebbles that you see here. Okay, they're called hydratants. So yeah guys, water comes up those buckets, fills it for a little while, then flushes it right down the drain basically <laughs> and uh, yeah so um, you know your uh, plants need uh, like four things to live right food water light and air which is which sounds a little bit crazy but yeah roots need air if uh, otherwise we'd grow everything in water you know and everything would grow correctly but they don't they need other things so um, so that's what the system does it's basically uh, fills the, those buckets uh, with the uh, pebbles there with water up to a level keeps it there for a little while then goes back down the drain and uh, cycle continues on a timer uh, grows monster tomato but you know this is a system that's meant to grow bigger plants you know so wink winks you know for those of you uh, it does grow other things that uh, take a lot of room and uh, and it goes really really well that's why there see a resurgence in um, popularity given the uh, alternate uh, gardening things going on wink wink again <laughs> all right so uh, let's see how we did that hey guys um, I have a ebb and flow system in the um, in the greenhouse to do my tomato and um, I need to rebuild it because uh, the algae has taken over and those uh, plastic pails here, they, I have two cats, so they kind of come <laughs> with the territory. So, you know, instead of trying to scrub them and then make more um, scratches on the inside and get more uh, surface area for the algae to kind of settle in and stuff. So, you know, what I do is I'm going to just toss up everything and start over. But that's a great occasion for you to see what I've done. So. What they are, they are basically uh, 35 pounds uh, buckets. So I think uh, it's four and a half gallon uh, when you measure it. And what uh, the way my system works, and I'll explain to you a little bit more when it's installed. But uh, what it does, it uh, basically has these um, bulkhead adapters, right? And I'll give you a close up and, and stuff in a second here. But what we do, we drill a hole here. And I have four growing bucket and one uh, control bucket, which is the key to the whole operation here. And um, um, what I have to do right now is take the four that are going to be growing and just drill a hole for them f to get these bulkhead adapters. Um, yeah, so what they are, they're just basically they're sold with um, industrial aquarium supplies, right? So it's basically a just a plastic sleeve and I'll get to that in a second with a rubber washer and what you do is that you drill a hole in the in the bucket fish that out and then screw it in place with the washer in place and it, it um, prevents uh, uh, leakage the thing about these things that you have to know you have to know a little bit about uh, plumbing these are half inch slip uh, these little ones. They come in all sorts of size. This is a one and a half inch slip. And what that means, it means that a uh, half inch, in this case, pipe will slip fit in it. Okay, so it's not a threaded um, inside, it's a half inch uh, slip on both sides. All right, same is true of this one and a half inch. When, when you see in the description is, uh, you're going to see the nominal size like half inch slip which means that don't look for it for this to be half an inch it's basically half an inch pipe will slip in the adapter 
same with that one and a half that's a you know just takes uh, the one and a half inch all right so they all come they come in all sorts of size so for my purpose all the buckets will be connected together using half inch so i have to do that in there and the drain in this one and i'll explain to you in a second let me drill the holes in, in, in these things and i'll explain how my control bucket works all right so let me do that what we do we use this step drill that you know fairly cheap arbor freight you know uh cheap cheap uh, i put a green mark on it so that i know when to stop for the diameter of my slip ad um, slip adapter here so the where you drill it doesn't matter too too much as long as it's towards the bottom because these uh, buckets are going to be uh, filling, filling up based on the level of the control bucket and it's going to come back down so the water will self level across all of my uh, buckets here so where it is not too too important as long as it's low enough so that there's no standing water left in the bucket or just a little bit all right so what you do you just come here kind of at the right place and start drilling Once you've reached the right dimension here, the slip adapter goes right in, right? You screw it. And I put the washer inside so that it seals inside. Okay, and all we have to do is tighten it with a pair of slip uh, pliers. number one okay very simple but super effective all right um, let me get to the other three and uh, we'll get back to you in a second yeah so let's talk about the control bucket um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the one that it's replacing here okay so that you can see what it does all right so you see how nasty it gets with the algae and everything so it's just not a good um, situation because the algae uh, steal the nutrients from the plants and what have you all right so we're going to solve that in a second i'll show you how um, we're going to paint the outside okay so by painting it black it should make it more opaque because these things are not opaque the reason i brought it up as well is to show you a little bit of what this does okay so we already talked about all my buckets being um kind of linked together with this half inch um pvc pack. so this is the one that's going to control everything so it does have a hole at the front so that it can connect with the four other uh buckets but what it also has it has one on the side here so that a pump can fill it okay and there's a big one on the bottom okay and the bottom one is so that it can take this um this column all right so Sorry. if you think about what that's going to do pump's going to put water in there level's going to rise to the top of this starts going in inside you know and so it's going to reach a level the other pipe will just allow with gravity the water to flow to the other four right so it's going to reach a level that's what i have to monitor in this bucket to know how much water i have in my other buckets right and that's kind of the simplicity of the whole system so instead of having uh, one of those grow beds you know with uh, a bell siphon in the corner multiple example on youtube you can look up but this one is a little bit um it's my own concoction based on a few things that I've seen. Um, it sits on top of a drum. I'll show you, uh, you know, not a drum, a, a um, garbage can that I set in the ground. So it, um, it does the job really well. Uh, we've had really great uh, success with it the last uh, two, three years I've used it. And uh, 
it's just time for a refreshment, all right, a refresher. So let's take this bucket and make it look like this one, not inside, but dolls. And then um, I'll show you what we do with this. Like I, uh, you know, so the big thing about these buckets and they're easy to work with, okay? Um, but what you have to do is pop the top off. And to do that, all you need is a screwdriver, okay? You, you insert it on the side there and you just Apply up, pry up. You see this ridge? There's another ridge right here in the corner. So that's what holds the top down. Okay, so as long as you break that, you can pop it right up and yeah, good to go. All right, three holes goes in this, like I said, one at the front, like all the other buckets. So let's do that first. That's the first one. One for the pump on the side. All right. Just making sure my side is right. Yep. And one at the bottom that's going to accommodate this uh, one and a half slip. To do that, I have to use a hole saw. So let me just switch that quickly. Right, and I'm trying to put it as much in the middle as I can and it's easy because there's a little uh, dimple there you know that tells me where it was uh, injection molded right and there it is I'm just gonna clean it up with a little knife here did too with this one as you can see the bottom there's two ridge at the bottom of this spot right so I just nicked a little bit of the of the slip um, adapter so that it can go in and just get wedged in between them all right and that's how it goes all right good let's deal with the algaes now Hey guys, so I've decided to deal with the algaes by painting the bucket black. I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do here. Uh, algaes need, like any plants, they need a few things to grow. One is sunlight, air, water, nutrients, right? Air, nutrients, and water I can't avoid because it's what's going to feed my plants. But I can deny them light, and that's what I'm going to try to do with this. So this is just Rust-Oleum. Uh, uh, wood metal plastic and more so it should do just fine you know it's not gonna rub on anything one thing I did I um, used painters tape from the inside plugged all the holes so that it doesn't get inside let's paint good to go you know that should take care of the algaes and uh, yeah let's assemble it install it and see how it works Alright guys, let's start by hooking up the control uh, bucket here. So I made this little carriage here so that I can locate it correctly. Now from here it's going to hook up to the other one. So this is the pump right here, it goes on the side. Right, and this is the level that 
goes in just like that. All right, so this is my length of pipe from last year. That is already you know, at the right distance from these things. So just gonna put the little bushing here right into this slip connector. I'm not using any thread, any uh, cement here, no need. It's tight enough that it won't leak. All right, hydratants. All right, so what I do is I use one of those uh, mesh bag strainer. You know, those are five gallon paint strainer that you get at the hardware store. They fit just great on this thing, right? Pour the hydratants in. This one's ready for tomato. Three more. All right, so the system is, so the tomatoes aren't in yet, all right? But what I'm gonna show you is how it works. So this extension cord is plugged in a timer. So what it does, it's gonna send power to the pump, which will fill the bucket. And you're gonna see it in a minute here. So it takes a second, obviously, to get everything going. So while we do that, let me just move the, some hydrotons here so we can see what's going on in here. So this is gonna be our level for all four of these containers. So in this bucket here, I keep all of the nutrient uh, solutions so that it just flows and then I just have to replace what's in there. So now it's starting to leak here, right? So it's reached its stop. Now this is going to take a minute. But now the water is flowing across all of them. It's going to level out at that level. All right, guys, so hopefully you can hear me uh, through the noise here. I uh, turned the mic over so we can see. So the control bucket is filling up and uh, it's getting all its water level, you know, set throughout all the four tomato plants. All right, so yeah, that's, that's how it works. All right, so one of the thing I haven't covered yet is when the cycle ends. So I'm gonna simulate that here by disconnecting it. So what happens is that, yeah, the pump stops and the water level goes down. And the reason it goes down is that it, it's, it's going through the pump, all right? So that has a couple of pretty interesting um, uh, qualities is that it cleans the pump out as it, as it you know, float as the water flows through it so uh, so you know debris are not as prevalent and uh, that's that's the system all right guys that's what I have for you this week so I hope you like the system I mean it's a regular ebb and flow system I suppose you know and it's um, uh, principle but it's you know I made it out of stuff I had available uh, it's very cheap nobody can complain that this is not uh, recycling at its best because it's reusing so love that all right so um, if you like what you saw you like the ideas and all that give me a like and uh, we'll talk to you in a second so that's when it it's the end of the bucket <laughs> all right guys see you on the other side bye mm -hmm.